Hello, Mrs. M here, and today I want to talk about this um, movie trailer that I've watched the other day called LaQuisha. Now, LaQuisha is supposed to be about um, middle class um, white male who was trying to pitch a radio show and he was turned down so he figured if he created this um alter ego of a black woman named Laquisha it would get it would give him ratings and it did and a lot of people are like some people have mixed feelings about it some people are really pissed at it about this movie because it makes a mockery of black women so i'm gonna give my opinion about it and i'm gonna try to make it short and sweet um i heard the breathless breathless club um and take on this movie um <clears throat> another woman i watch um on youtube i've heard her opinion on it she's pretty pissed about it uh women have it that the movie has been canceled because um of some other reasons but it's been canceled some people protest to not let the movie happen but my opinion of it is okay what's the difference um between this movie and white chicks and then somebody said well don't 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 use um white chicks as an excuse okay so what about all these gay males who imitate ratchet black women for example trey melvin now no shade to trey melvin i've been watching trey melvin for years but he have tons of characters especially watermelon drea who's based on not just black women but trifling ratchet black women okay what about all these skits that you see on instagram on youtube of black couples and it's always that ratchet crazy black girlfriend Tell me, is, is that not making a mockery of black women? Isn't that a mockery? And honestly, I don't even think most of those skits are funny. Some of them I get a kiki off of, but I don't think most of those skits are funny at all. Because it's like, okay, how many skits you going to make of the angry black woman that want to stab and kill her, her boyfriend for looking at another chick? She's always jealous that he's trying to look at another chick. She never trusts her man. She's always irrational, always violent. What's the difference between this movie and that? I say have an outrage on those skits. What about Martin? Um, and you might as well cancel and live in color, Martin. Um, well, um, I go way back. Flip Wilson, when he did his little character. What? what um, what else? It's tons of comedians has done this, but I guess because it's a it's a white male, you know. Um, he making fun of us. I'm like, mm, so is these gay gay men these gay comedians making fun of you too i forgot one of them i think one of them they claimed tyler perry was gonna um put him in a movie i forgot th this this person name this guy's name he's all over the place he wear a mustache he got this character where he wear like these this green hair and sometimes pink hair different like yellow hair styles he always playing a ratchet black chick. Can you watch where you going, dumbass? Excuse me? What was that? Oh, bitch, I almost forgot. I need you to dance tonight. It's my birthday and I need you to turn the fuck up. 
Girl, boo, I'm gonna dance tonight. Don't do me. No shade, bitch. I'm not tripping. I'm just saying I'm not gonna pay $20 for you to get in and you don't dance. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. How my bangs look, bitch? Thank you, bitch. Yes. <laughs> you ready? Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... Lil D. I accept. You may start the conversation now. What's up, baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. What's up? I don't, I don't really think he's funny, in my opinion. Not come from, but to me, he's just not funny. It's just not funny. I think Trey Melvin is funny, funnier. And I think, I, I kind of think they low-key um, copying off of him. Because I think he was probably one of the first on YouTube to, to do all that. I'm just saying. I think. Don't correct me if I'm wrong, but um, Trey Melvin was probably one of the first I've seen do the little... You know the the ratchet black chicks, and he has several characters, several different type of black girls. I'm just saying, black females. But in my opinion, it's like the the movie don't bother me too much. I have mixed feelings with it. Like I will go watch it because I like quirky comedy movies like this. I'll go watch this shit. I said watch white white chicks. I thought white chicks was funny. I'll go, I'll go watch it just to see what it was about. Just to be nosy. But it's like, damn, why we gotta be all... Hey, hey, girl. And not all of us act like that. Shit. Even... I could, I could talk about my work experience. Just because I am fat. I am overweight. I am black, obviously. So people assume things about me. Like I go to a church and they assume that I can sing. Just because I'm fat, they think I can sing. And I can cook. Well, I can't cook. But, you know, I can't sing that well. Um, Just like the incident with the, the crazy chick that threatened me on a job. The cuckoo brain. Cuckoo brain Jones. She was banking on... When we was in the office with my manager, she called herself trying to get me in trouble over some shit she done. Okay. Make that make sense. She put on her little Caucasian woman voice. And she was banking on me to go rah, 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 rah. Uh, and no, you didn't. And let me tell you why my life I could think. She was banking for me to act like that. I don't act like that. My mama didn't even act like that. Because most Women, they think because a woman or a black woman yell and scream, it makes her right or it makes her strong. No, it doesn't. It makes her idiot. Because half the time, you don't, I don't even know what the fuck are you saying. When <laughs> someone act like this, like, what are you doing? What are you saying, lady? My mama never act like that. And I think she was the strongest woman on this planet. And I'm not just saying that because of my because she's my mama. The stuff that she had went through when she had to go through cancer and chemo and radiation treatments and deal with scars and stuff from the treatments. When they told her she only had six months to live and she lived for set for seven years. That's strength to me. And she was just the most kindest and meekest woman I ever met. I've ever known. She ain't do all that rah 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 bull and acting all crazy in the streets with my acting all irrational and, and belligerent around my father. And I don't act that way either. Now don't get me wrong, don't test me, but I don't act like that with it. I play chess, not checkers. So when the crazy bitch put on her little Caucasian voice in front of our manager who is also Caucasian trying to play that little victim helpless victim role I just sat there and watched and I asked the right questions and when I asked the right questions um I must have hit a nerve or something because that demon came out of her real quick that ratchet came out of her real quick. Like, where the fuck did your accent go? I'm like, Flavor Flay. Where the hell? Woman butt wild. That bitch. Butt wild. I, remember that on Flavor Law? Ah, that wild. 
But when she was confronted by Tiffany, New York, that Caucasian woman, that 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 ratchet black voice went out the window, and Miss Caucasian came out real quick, right? And Flavor Flav was like, "Where the hell did your accent go?" New York, would you get back down with me? Huh? I'm gonna have to give this back to you. That girl disrespected the house. She smoked in here. She assaulted somebody in here, and I don't think it's right that you keep her. But I'm she here, bitch. In the house. I ain't going nowhere. It's and I think it's disrespectful. Her. She's crazy. She's I trust her. Disturbed. I trust her. If I didn't trust her, I wouldn't let but her stay in my house. She lied to you. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Where the f did your accent go? It went out the window. Where the did that f go? go? Before you, wow, honey, and everything. Now you, y'all, y'all. That's how I felt with Brain. Bitch, where the hell did this Caucasian voice go? What, what, where is it? Where that? Cause she was banking on that ratchet bitch that she thought that was in me. She was banking for that to come out. You got black folks that shit made fun of uh, the, the ratchet chicks. Come on now. Just like the woman that was fighting at the IHOPs. It was some woman that was fighting in the house. It was employees and the fuck customers. Throwing pots and dishes and utensils and food. They was banking for any of us to act like that. I'm not that one. I am not that one. Might bring that on your ass. Hell, when my my ex manager tried to come for me, the ratchet came out of her by the time I was done with her. And all I did was just ask the right questions. See, people don't like the truth. People don't like facts. Do a challenge if you think I'm lying. Anytime somebody try to accuse you of something or somebody just say something to you that just don't make sense, especially someone that, that think that they're trying to get over on you, ask them why. The, the question why gets a lot of motherfuckers in trouble in some heat. How dare you question me why? Tell you, ask why. But you did this, 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 ask me when and why. Who, what, when, where, and why. Who, what, when, where, and why. I guarantee you'll face some heat from that. I promise you that. Especially when you're dealing with a Jezebel spirit. You don't never question a Jezebel. But that's a whole nother subject. My opinion is... I, I mean, this, this don't bother me much. It really don't. Because if that's the case, then... The rest of these skits that I see that I don't really think is funny shit... That, honestly, some of them skits bother me, too. Because it's like... I had a conversation with my husband about it. He he likes some of most of those skits. And I'm like, I don't really think that's funny. It was one skit. Um he was watching. It's, it was a guy and his girlfriend. It was his real life girlfriend. And she was like, I got a knife. Oh, you gonna you gonna go where? He said he wanted to go to visits his his baby mama house or some shit she said i got her knife and i go i'm like what the hell it was like a song she made up and she pulled that talking about stabbing him and stuff it's like why we gotta be portrayed as being so violent but we want to kill and hurt people all the time no i, I what are you trying to say carrie I can't do this no more. I don't want to be with you. You and me are over. You and me will never be over. You hear me? You my man. And I 
and to death do us part. You're not married. You my what? I'm your man. And to win? To death do us part. Okay. Hey, baby, let me help you with No, you. no, I'm good. You still mad at me? You shot at me. You hit me with the car and you almost killed me. Of course I'm mad at you. Baby, I didn't almost kill you because if I wanted you dead, you would be dead. I only shot at you and hit you with the car because I love you. My anger is proof of my love. I just don't like that. I don't, after a while, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. And it's and I told him I said it's too many skits like that. It's like one person make a skit, it becomes successful. It's like, okay, you got a slew of black little entertainers that's trying to do the same shit or similar stuff. After a while, it gets boring. And I hate to say this, but most of our people don't have no originality. They see what the next one is doing, then they'll just not only do the similar shit, but they'll overly do it. They'll over exaggerate the the skit to the point where it's not funny anymore. Like that's why I was telling them, I said it's not even funny anymore. Like these gay guys between the ratchet black chicks, that's not even funny anymore to me. It's kind of like, hmm. How many times are you gonna keep seeing this? Like it's, it's it gets bored. It gets boring. But anyway, I don't think the movie is gonna um uh happen. It don't really bother me. It's not disrupting my fucking life, to be honest with you. So yeah. Let me know your thoughts if you want to so in below in the comment section or in the chat if I choose to um premiere this and I guess I'll see you later. Peace.